Hey Tim, what's going on? Oh, hi. Um, I'm trying to turn my seat around. What's the deal? Well, we got these Sportscraft swivel seat adapters and they're pretty good. We saved a bunch of money and we like them, but they could use some adjustment. For one, they consist of two plates here that are held together with a big heavy fitting, which I'll show you later in the video. On the passenger seat, I think this thing is too tight. So it is really difficult to turn the seat. It takes a lot of effort to do this. And the seat needs to be in the perfect position for this to work. If the seat's too far back, it's going to hit the wall. But when it's back like that, it makes it much easier down here for this pin, the locking pin, to clear from the bottom plate. So now the pin is clear, but the back of the seat's hitting the wall. So in order to clear the wall with the back of the seat, I need to slide the seat forward. But now it's difficult to get the pin to clear. And a lot of times it sounds like that. So a couple of things we're going to do here. First of all, we're going to see if we can loosen that so that this thing will spin more easily. And the other thing is we're going to cut that locking pin so it's not quite so long because it doesn't need to be that long. On the driver's side, it's not as big of a problem. This one's pretty easy to operate. In fact, I can turn it with just one hand because it is not so tight. The passenger side is the one that's been giving us grief, so that's the one we're going to work on today. The other thing we're going to do, once this thing is turned around and it's where we want it, a lot of times we have it slid back a ways, and that exposes these corners. And if you notice, those corners are right at shin height. <laughs> and we have banged into that a few times and probably have scars on our shins from these. So I think we're going to grind these down and just round them a bit. Now this seat has an airbag in it, and this is the wire that controls that. We want to make sure and disconnect the power before we disconnect this cable here. If we don't do that, we're going to throw a code. It's going to put an error light on our dashboard, and we're going to need a code reader to clear that code or take this thing into the dealer to have them do it. We don't want to do that. So. A real cool thing about a sprinter is right down there by the gas pedal, there is a connection where you just push a little button and pull and you disconnect the battery. So that's what we're going to do first. And then we'll take the seat off and get to work on this guy. So, we are very fortunate to be able to do this at my brother's house. For those of you who don't know, who have never met him, this is Eric, my brother. He's going to be helping us with this video today. I have to tell you, of all the tools you ever use to build your van, there is nothing like a brother like Eric. Did he just call me a tool? <laughs> well, uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> so now that we can see it, what do you want to do? Well, the problem is it's too hard to turn. It's too tight. And also, when we lift this, the, you have to lift way too far to get the locking pin to clear. So can we see that over here? Yeah. So there's, it should, shouldn't have to travel that far. So we can shorten that pin, right? Yeah. So we'll cut that off. Loosen this nut. And yeah, if we can figure out how to loosen that, that would be great. Okay. Okay. Only use the best tool for the job. Yeah. So half the problem here was finding a wrench big enough to get on there. Is uh, that turning? Yeah, I've got about an eighth of a turn. You're going to have to figure out at what point it's smooth enough for you. Yeah, so then how do we do that? You lay it back down. So not much. Not much. Let's go a little farther. <clears throat> Better? That's better. I wonder if that does it. Might be. So, next, let's cut that down a bit. Wow, that worked 
pretty good. I think that's much better. Okay. Very cool. The other thing we want to do is round these corners because these will hit your shin if you're not careful. All right, well, that looks much better. That is so cool. Okay, so we're gonna paint these. But before we do that, one other thing I wanna do, we have to take this swivel adapter off anytime we wanna service our diesel heater. And putting it back on, trying to get these holes lined up to get all of these bolts back in, it's really difficult. So we're gonna take this big, huge drill bit here and try to make these holes just a little bit bigger just to give these bolts a little bit of wiggle room. Don't try this at home. There we go. I love having this guy around. You don't put yourself at risk. Right. So we'll just do that three more times, right? Well, it'll be harder on these because these are ovals. Okay. So I'm going to suggest that you try these. This is the one that has to align because it's countersunk. Yeah, and that's the one that's the most difficult because the guy at Thermo King used a power tool to drive this thing back in. He didn't have it lined up right. So he cut oh. he cross-threaded the thing. So you've got double the threads you need, huh? Yeah. So we can't do much to this because of the countersink. Okay. Um, I'm hopeful that if you can align this one when you mount it, the rest give you wiggle room because these are ovals. Okay, okay. Okay. This is the one we drilled. And then the pin. And the pin, yeah. Okay. And if you want, since it's cold out, you could get that heat gun. It's winter time in the Pacific Northwest, so we're warming it up a bit. So we'll go get some lunch and come back and see how it looks. Okay, we are all done except we decided to put some thread locker on here just because we don't want this nut to work its way loose and come off while we're driving down the road. That would not be good at all. So some thread locker and because it's cold out, we're hitting it with a heat gun just to warm it up a bit. I think we're done here. We got everything reinstalled, um, but we're gonna let Shannon see if this meets her approval because it's been really difficult for her. All right, let's check it out. Ooh. <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> that works? Yes. Pretty good? Nice. Okay. That's success. Didn't have to plug my ears. <laughs> All right. Oh, and, and, and scoot back a little bit. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. No more dinged up shins. Sweet. All right. We got a swivel seat that is so much easier to operate now. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy mm -hmm. that you helped us with that. Uh, we're all done here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would sure help us out. And subscribe, because we're going to be making more videos. And hit that little tool bell, and you'll get notified when the next one comes out. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye.